Hey y'all, this is going to be another one of those kind of negative videos. I'm not a negative person, but I, I got something I want to get off my chest. Uh, I promise I'm going to do some fishing stuff real soon. Well, Lord will and I will anyway. I'll be right back. I'm Dale Verts. I'm the old school guy. Can't change my mind on nothing. Old school and older ways of thinking, that's where I'm at. You know, if I didn't do this, I'd be faking it, I'd be an actor, so it ain't gonna happen. I'm gonna say what I think as long as some folks wanna watch it. This is about BSS again. It's Bassmaster Classic Week. Matter of fact, today is Championship Sunday. Whoop de doo. Again, younger guys won't get it. Y'all that grew up with me, my age group, watching Bassmaster TV, the greatest thing that ever happened. Even if you're not tournament fishing, bass tournaments affect everybody. It's where all technology has come from. Unfortunately, too much technology lately, but all your baits, lures, lines, depth finder stuff, of course, has come from tournament fishing. More than anything else, I believe, at least as far as bass fishing is concerned. When I was a kid, we saw what happened first in the newspaper. I called our newspaper when I was... 17 and got them to BSS get a feed so everything you got was a day late but that's where you heard about tournament things because Bassmaster Magazine would be a couple months later then come Bassmaster TV was well, still several months later but you got to see it live it was awesome oh man it was great when TNN did all that man those were the days and I've talked about that before I'm just that's what old people do we reminisce we think about old times old girlfriends so as far as the class is concerned um I said you used to have to wait for that information when i quit tournament fishing in the late 90s and 2000 i mean i fished one pro tournament early 2001 but i was done by 98. my i always figured i'd go to the classic as a contender i never have went to visit that's not my style um it whatever early 2000s i was not following tournament fish anymore i was burnt out i was done i'd quit raise a family and what have you um then i found out it was actually live on espn or whatever so i went over to my buddy's house one day um i don't remember what year it was everybody's gonna tell me because the first thing i ever saw was in the first i'm mean, not here i'm i'm watching a classic happening live it was awesome even though i wasn't fishing anymore I'd heard about Mike Iaconelli. I'd heard about him and all his crazy antics. The, one of the first things I ever saw in the classic was him having that melt down fit where he knocked the American flag in the water and that formed an opinion of Mike Iaconelli. I've had a hard time shaking ever since. Seeing it live. I was like, oh, look at that crap. And I, I saw kind of, to a degree, the way tournament fish was going with the drama. But to watch it live, even though I wasn't fishing more, it was magic. I look at this actually happening while you're watching. So I quit fishing at about the dawn of the new era. Things with technology, internet, interweb, TV stuff, whatever. And it was awesome. But I never watched it again. Ever. Ever. Until uh, the fall of 2016, I came back to more serious bass fishing. By 17, I was hitting it pretty hard. And I was watching, I found that YouTube stuff and started watching and found you could watch BSS live. I would leave it on when I was at work or where I was doing what I could. I just leave it on so I could listen to it once in a while because it was still awesome. It's what I wanted to do. It, reliving the past, reliving memories and maybe chasing a dream again, which ain't never going to happen now. And then come, oh yeah, here we are. Forward face and sonar, radar, love. And I have watched less and less, and now I don't watch it at all. It's Bassmaster Classic Week. Used to be, you know, the Super Bowl, all that crap, the shrine of what we did, even if you weren't a tournament fisherman. Because all the people go to that classic aren't tournament fish. All the 
tourists and the people going to their convention, they, they ain't all tournament fishermen, obviously. It's bass fishing. No desire. Even Randy's been watching some of it making comments. I don't, I'm not going to do that. I don't want to watch it. Until it goes back to old days, old ways. There's a t-shirt. Old bumper stickers. I'm still thinking about the Ford facing sonar radar love thing. I'm, I've got some stuff in my head, but there's a lot of room up there. Sometimes I gotta, I'm thinking about that real careful, but that's pretty good. I gotta think on that. When it comes back to real fishing, the way I grip fishing, I'd watch it because I can't, I'm never gonna be able to do it, but I can still watch the guys who I think deserve to be doing it. And now I don't, I don't even know any of their names. My feed comes across my YouTube channel on my TV and I see who's leading the first thing. I don't know those guys. And it's got to change. The world has to move on. Rick Clung cannot is never gonna win in fifth classic. Everybody's gone. Although the few old timers that are left are still new guys compared to when I was fishing. Watch John Cox or Hank Cherry. Hank Cherry winning again, wouldn't that be awesome? I think they're all fishing away. It's just stuff I catch off of Randy. I don't, it's so unfair for me to even do this because I don't pay any attention to it at all. So you can't blame me. You can't really call that a rant because I'm just stating facts, at least the way that I see them. And that's all that matters. It's my video. But it's an it's a era, and I've talked about this before, so I'm beating that dead mule with a big fat crappie right up the butt. Man, I used to live, eat, and breathe it. You don't just shrug that off. Even after all the years of not doing it serious, I, it was my life. I guided, I fished tournaments for over 20 years and never made it, but I, I, I watched this stuff and gleaned th things off watching those guys. And now it's just watching them look at a death finder. I'm not going to do it. Any bass fishing video that I turn on, which I still try to watch them, the second they mention it or look, I'm done. And there's so many videos that ain't worth watching anyway. It's amazing how anybody watches my crap. I'm going to do some fishing directly. I'm going to do, I'm going to go catch some more toads out of that, that pond I fished a while back and some other ponds maybe. Old school, we're going to do some bank fishing. Going to fish another tournament next, a week from Tuesday, the April 2nd. I got another tournament. I'm going to go donate my money again. Try not to, but that's a whole other video I need to do on those tournaments because they're very unique, I think. And I get some input from y'all if they're not unique. Maybe you got them like that where you fish. So how's that for short and sweet? The Bassmaster Classic. <laughs> I'm done with it. It's just so sad. I sure like the old ways. And this has happened so quick. Here, I, it's happened so quick. That forward facing sonar, I saw it what first time in 2017. Thought it was cool. Realized how it wasn't cool. And it's just degraded down ever since. And I don't believe in outlawing things uh, for the sake of outlawing them. But I think this one here needs to go away. I'm not going to judge the fish or I'm not judging you if you use it. This is just old fat man right here talking about his passion for bass fishing. God bless you guys. Thanks for watching. Check out my solar bat link in the description for some really great fishing sunglasses. Or they've got other kinds of sunglasses that aren't necessarily fishing glasses too. Check it out. Talk at you later.